All right, so today we had the breeder colonies coming with me. So what that means is that I'm gonna have to drive. I could have them delivered, but I'm just gonna go ahead and go pick them up. It's only about a two hour drive instead of waiting an extra day for them to come, day or two days for them to come. Matter of fact, it's Friday today, so that means it would, they wouldn't be here until probably Monday or Tuesday. But I want them now, so I'm gonna go ahead and drive down there um, and pick them up. Um, but before I go ahead and get on the road, I'm gonna go ahead and put some water in this tank. I didn't do that last night. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Up, turn around, boop. Can't go put water if they don't if I don't have a hose with me. So I'm gonna go ahead and boom, grab some hose here. We got all this hose and pipe here. This trash is getting tossed out too. Okay, let's find out. Now you've got yourself something funky. Alright, that's the end of that. It is time to get on the road. Let me take this out of here, man. This thing out real quick. Oh, drop that out. Close this door. Boom, okay, so from there, it's time for us to go ahead and get on the road and start traveling, man. I'm gonna pick up a pump, air pump, and a small um, submersible heater to put in there for when I get the breeder colony. Uh, woo, man, I'm pumped, man. I'm ready to get this thing going, man. I'm ready to show you guys what the heck is going on. But you know what's crazy, man? I'm not sure if you guys have that, but this is the first time that I've lived somewhere where you had to go dump your own trash. So, I mean, this is country living, but let me know if some of you guys out there that live in the country, if you guys gotta do the same thing. Because out here, you're taking your own trash or it's gonna stay there. Fish up in here. Okay. How long have you guys been over here? A year and a half. Oh, okay. Yeah. A year and a half, okay. Oh, that one looks like it's pregnant. Got some of them here. And what are these ones in here, in this tank? Oh, the one now, okay. It's a nice looking fish. I found the food. Oh, okay. All right. So, what's the most, uh, what's the tilapia fish that sells the most that you blues. guys get? The blues? Yes, yeah. yeah, by far. By far. Yeah. You guys get a lot of people from I Florida? Most yeah. most people from Florida? No. Oh, no, okay. No, I do most of my business out of state. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, people do want the blues. In state, you know, like really in the summertime. Yeah. And it's really primarily when people are tired of looking at all the duckweed in there. Oh, so maybe, yeah, yeah. They'll Go ahead, throw it in there. Yeah. yeah. Put it in there. Okay. So the blues, I, I would assume that it might be the Niles. I wonder why the Niles don't sell as much. I sell a lot of Niles, don't get me wrong. Oh, okay. So uh, just not in Florida. Not yeah, because of the, probably the, reg the, the they regulation? Are now. Okay. The red, whites, and blues are allowed in the state of Florida as long as it's east of Jefferson County. Okay. And the reason why is because the state is now like finally admitted mm -hmm. that in the blues there are a heavy strain of Nile. Oh, okay, okay. So now they're, I mean, the blues that you buy like right now. Yes. I mean, sometimes I look at it almost like a hybrid. Oh, okay. Like when it gets older, yeah, it gets yeah. a little lighter. And right, I right. You can see it in some, yeah. mm -hmm. some of the tanks mm -hmm. there. It's like, it was almost like pinkish. Yes, you know? yeah, yeah. But it's, it's a blue, but it's just, I think it's a hybrid. So do they still require the permit though? They require the per uh, not even the permit. Oh, okay. When did that, that recently change? That changed at the beginning of the year. Oh. Actually, 
Uh, Somewhere uh, last year. I think okay. It was okay. Okay. So get red, whites, and blues as long as it's east of Jefferson County. It's allowed. Then it's allowed. Oh, okay. Yeah, it opened up a lot of business for us. Oh yeah, absolutely. For sure. For sure. Okay. And if you ever want to get into selling, that's a different. That's a different prospect. Mm -hmm. Because then you're. You got to get your license. Right. The state comes out twice a year. You have to come do an inspection. A mm -hmm. Commercial facility. Mm -hmm. You got to know what you're tied to. Right. Waterway. Right, right, right. Yep. Indoor, outdoor. Mm -hmm. It's easy for me. I'm indoor. Oh, okay. Okay. Because I just, when I do water changes, it's a double screen right out here. It goes right to a, you know, retention. Uh, okay. Right over there. Mm -hmm. It's not connected to a waterway. Ah, uh, so okay. If anything happened to get through, it's dead. It's dead. Okay. And then the rest goes to drained waste. You know, okay. Septic tanks. So mm -hmm. That's dead. That's how it works out then, yeah. Yeah. That works out. So yeah. Every time, yeah. Every time Brittany comes, it's like, She's like, see the screen, see the screen. Okay, see you later, man. <laughs> Adios. Brittany, is she? She comes from um, Jacksonville. Or Tallahassee. Tallahassee. Yeah. Matter of fact, yeah, because I had um, when I had an uh, aquaponic setup in 2015, I, I had to get the um, the certification. Oh, you had to get a yeah, I had to get a permit uh, certification. Yeah, so she's. I think it's the same one. Short, yeah. kind of short. Yeah. 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 She comes out with her truck to, <laughs> yep. to come out. Okay. Yeah, she's sweet. She's. Yeah, she she's is nice. nice. Mm hmm very helpful yep yep you know, and that's that's one thing you know you play by the rules and you really take care of it. that's right yeah you know you mm -hmm. start playing games and yep. you know you're, they're not going to be too pleasant to have you around right right that's okay sure i see some of these other hatcheries and I'm like man <laughs> you were like playing games mm -hmm. like one of them i was getting gold from mm -hmm. oh, and he was to yeah, take care of it. he was I mean, I kind of caught him at it mm -hmm. because he sent me a bunch of golds that I purchased, obviously, and some of them were white. Ah. Uh, like, they weren't like pure white, yeah. like Nile white. Yeah, yeah. I could still, if I moved them a little bit side to side, there mm -hmm. was a little pearlescence to them. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, are you breeding your golds in orange? Aren't you? Uh. <laughs> he's, he's, he's breathing like, the. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's I'm breathing like, them. Yeah. Those are less. Uh -huh. That's like a Nile and a Mozambique. Mm -hmm. what are you doing? Yeah. And you're selling it as a gold. Gold. Yeah. So these are the last time I'll ever buy from you. Mm -hmm. And he goes, well, you know, typically, and this is true. Typically, if you take, like, say, you wanted, say, I wanted to produce like a bunch of blues, mm -hmm. right? I could take. All my all my white females, all my red females, mm -hmm. as long as I throw in the, the male blue, mm -hmm. they produce a male blue. Oh, okay. Come up with blue color. Oh, okay, okay. So the male is a dominant gene, right? Yes. So that's what he was doing with the males and bees. Mm. So he's taking his male gold, right? Yeah. Producing them with other fish, uh -huh. them gold colored tilapia. Got it. And just selling it off as, as a as a mm, okay. So we'll let everybody else figure out. So dude, you were splitting that. Yeah. Like yeah. 10 times over, yeah. 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 That's not good. Absolutely horrible. So I haven't. I've never. I'm, I'm not the recording kind of guy. Right. You figure what comes around goes, goes around. Yeah. Someone's gonna. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Figure it out. Yeah. Because I know she. And I know she inspects this facility. Mm. And she's gonna. She's gonna see it one day. He that's must. I'll bet he splits them all up. Because mm -hmm. she usually. They don't do any surprise visits ever. Mm hmm. They call you. Like, yeah, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. There in two days. Yeah, yeah. You know? It's like probably shouldn't do that. Yeah, probably just <laughs> yeah, because that yeah, gives so, people a chance. Yeah, yeah, to, it gives to, people a chance to like clean up. Yeah, you know, and hopefully they're just doing the right thing. But yeah. Anyway. So. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, Matt. I appreciate it. Appreciate you coming in. Yep. All right, fish are on deck. It's time for us to get out of here. Oh man, I'm pumped up, man. I can't wait to get these things in the tanks and get, come on, and get some, come on, man. <laughs> and get some fish, some, some fry coming out. I need this and I need this. Okay, we're back, man. The fish. Kick this door open. 
Boom, fish, let me see how they're looking. Let open that freaking door up, man. Make sure I keep this. You stay there. Put something up on here. That'll work. The fish. All the fish. Let's see if we can see. Pull it out of this bag. Look at them jumping. Oh man. They all look good. All the fish are looking good. So what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do with this, is I'm gonna place it directly in here. Mm, and I'm gonna let the water that's inside of the fish bag, I'm gonna let it acclimate. Make sure you can see me. I'm gonna let it acclimate, um, probably for about 30 minutes, maybe an hour. And then uh, we'll release these guys out. Look, they're panicking right now, so they're kind of stressed out. So I'm gonna go ahead and just leave them alone a little bit. All right, it's been about an hour. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take these guys out of the um, bag. They've acclimated to the water temperature, um, and now they're ready to get uh, loose and roam free into their new environment. Now, now what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna open the bag and I'm gonna let them kinda come out themselves. I'm not gonna force them out. They'll, let, they'll swim out um, whenever they uh, feel comfortable coming out. Whenever they get enough room and they feel comfortable, then they'll end up swim, swimming out on their own. So let me just make sure I maneuver the bag to where at least they have the ability to climb out or to swim out. and they'll make their way out. All right, boom. Uh, we have everyone in here right now. So in this breeder colony, there is two males and then there's four females. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm only gonna keep one of these males, and his name is gonna be King Kong. So King Kong will remain, I'll find out which one is the dominant male. It's most likely gonna be the larger male, and that is this guy right here. You see him? That's most likely King Kong. So when we set up the, um, the actual breeder tank, it's most likely just gonna be him. The other male I'll take out and um, put him in um, one of the other separate tanks. So the reason why they put two males in here instead of one is that, just in case one of them dies. If one of them dies, then you'd have to buy an entirely different breeder colony. So um, two males in there just to be safe, and the four females. So these guys are gonna stay in here in this tank probably for about mm, 30 days, and I'm gonna check them out, make sure everything's all right with them, and that by that time, I should have the nursery system, will we'll for surely have the nursery system set up, and then that's when I'll place these guys in the uh, nursery setup tank and they'll have their own tank uh, all um, you know, uh, uh, put together for a breeder colony with the separate, um, they usually have some type of pipes in there for the females to hide. The male has his own nesting little um, nesting box, or if you, if you will, but um, right here I'm just gonna leave this basic. If I have to guess, uh, I'll wait for these guys. These guys are probably about Hmm, these ones right here, the smaller ones, they're probably about 20 grams. 20 grams, this guy right here, he's probably about 30 grams. He's about 30 grams, he's the biggest one in there, and there's one in the back, maybe he's about 35 grams. He may be 35 grams, that's possible. But this guy right here is small, I think probably like 15 grams. You know, this is nothing. And then the other male back there, he's probably about 20 grams also. So these guys are fairly, small but they're mature so that's the, pretty much around the size where they're able to start breeding so we should be able to expect something out of these but probably within the next you know two weeks three weeks uh, as soon as they get used to the new environment so woo, man i'm telling you right now i'm pumped to share this stuff with you guys man we're going through the entire phase together and um i'm just pumped man and when they have babies man i might just go ahead and do a backflip when we see some baby fries, I might just do a backflip, man. So, with that being said, I still got the entire nursery to set up in here, which is going to be happening 
very, very soon. I'm gonna start working on that tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll start working on that. I need to get that set up. I have to order some more material for filtration. There's you know, some other things that have to be done, but woo, progress is in front of your face right here. Come on, man, he ripped me off with this one, man. He ripped me off with that one, man. Look at that little one right there. The runt, he ripped me off with that one. He ripped me off with that one, man, I'm gonna be honest.